What's going on everybody? Happy New Year's and welcome to my movie review of the brand new Quentin Tarantino film, The Hateful Eight. So The Hateful Eight is Quentin Tarantino's eighth film and this man has created quite an impressive library of films. Anybody that knows me knows that Quentin Tarantino is one of my favorite directors hands down so I was thoroughly excited to see The Hateful Eight. So this film stars Samuel Jackson, Tim Roth, Kurt Russell, Michael Madsen and a host of others in this impressive western, spaghetti western style mystery murder movie. Yeah, that's right, a spaghetti western, a murder mystery, a whodunit type of film. It's a very old school as Quentin Tarantino B film. Now let's talk about this film for a second. This film has been mired in a lot of controversy. The scripts leaked and it almost prompted this movie to not even happen. Quentin Tarantino was very upset by the script leakage. But then after he read the script in front of an audience and it got a very, very resounding applause and good reaction, he decided to actually make this movie go ahead and happen. And thankfully he did because we need another Quentin Tarantino movie and I'm very, very happy that this movie was able to get through the production and actually get out. Also, he made a very bold move. This movie was shot in Ultra Panavision 70mm. That hasn't been done in over 50 years. Now for those asking what that even is, well, a lot of old school movies in the 50s and the 60s used to use Ultra Panavision 70 millimeter and they used to produce these road shows where there would be an overture and an intermission and you also get a program like this. But again, movies have not been shot this way in over 50 years because a lot of theaters have just converted to digital and they don't really want to go through the expense of having a 70 millimeter screen. But you know what, as soon as I found out that he was having a selected limited release in 100 theaters and one of the theaters was in my hometown, I had to go, I had to see this. And yes, the experience was definitely a lot different than what I expected. It was interesting but it did feel like an event film so I gotta give kudos to Quentin Tarantino for making this feel like an event and he made this feel special and even if it's not gonna be seen by a lot of people in this format you gotta just give him props and credit for doing something that not really other people are doing and also bring it back something that hasn't been done in over 50 years but let's get down to the film so like I said this is a whodunit type of mystery spaghetti western film so Samuel Jackson's character runs into Kurt Russell's character they're both bounty hunters and basically Kurt Russell has a prisoner that he is going to take to hang. So after they meet each other there's basically this huge blizzard that's about to hit so they have to go to this place called Minnie's Haberdashery and they meet other strangers there. So basically nobody really knows anybody but it turns into a murder mystery because something in the, ends up happening and they all end up trapped in this place, this log cabin for a couple of days. They don't know each other and some very very interesting things happen. Now first of all, the cast. Let's please talk about the cast of The Hateful Eight. This is an incredible cast of very impressive cast and man everybody was on their A game in this movie. I gotta talk about Samuel Jackson. He was the main character in this film. He was just phenomenal. Quentin Tarantino brings out the best in Samuel Jackson. I truly believe that Samuel Jackson's best performances in his career have come from Quentin Tarantino films. You look at Pulp Fiction, you look at Jackie Brown, and now you look at The Hateful Eight. Another astounding performance from Samuel Jackson. Kurt Russell was also very good in this movie as well. He was very hilarious. Like I said, he's a bounty hunter and he has his prisoner that he is determined to take to hang but he has a lot of paranoia about him because these strangers he runs into he doesn't know what their ulterior motives are so he has to you know watch out for him and then you also obviously have to credit Tim Ross and Michael Madsen as well those are two of the original Quentin Tarantino castmates they were both in Reservoir Dogs so it's really good to see them back in a Quentin Tarantino movie but I will say Jennifer Jason Lee she is the prisoner in this movie she was phenomenal it's as, it's as if we were watching the movie from her perspective because she didn't really say much but she has a very very pivotal pivotal character piece in this entire film seeing that she is the prisoner that is held captive by Kurt Russell's character and then you know the direction from Quentin Tarantino was just amazing he's always done a phenomenal job with directing and screenwriting like I said Quentin Tarantino movies are known for their impressive dialogue that just floors you because he thinks of things that I don't think anybody would really ever think about so the dialogue between the characters was always always phenomenal and then again giving him props for the 70 millimeter it was honestly gorgeous to look at they shot this movie in Colorado it was set in Wyoming it was a blizzard going on so the mountains and the landscapes and just the widescreen format of it made everything look that much more beautiful you know so when I'm thinking about the hateful eight the story overall I really did enjoy it it was separated into six parts and it had a nonlinear 
story like when Tarantino usually does, but I was a little bit disappointed though. My first disappointment is that it did take a long time to get this movie really off the ground and get to the meat of the story. Not really much happening in about the first hour to hour and a half of the film. Now if you know a Quentin Tarantino movie, he's spending that time developing the characters and really giving them backstory through their dialogue, but still, I felt like I didn't get the point of the movie for a very long time. I can not say the second half of this movie absolutely takes off once it gets going, it gets going and it just absolutely kicks off from there. But another thing that I was a little disappointed about was the whole, you know, the the the, the mystery behind it, the who done it behind it. It happened so fast and I didn't really get a time, you know, to digest it to really understand everything that was going on. This is spoiler free, but once the incident happens, about 20 minutes later, you kind of find out how everything gets resolved and who did it and everything. And that's just kind of disappointing. I wish they kind of fleshed that out a little bit more. But you know what? Even with those disappointments that I have about the movie, this is still a phenomenal movie. Quentin Tarantino at his worst is still better than so many other directors. So I really can't be that mad. It's just in comparison to his other films, it wasn't the greatest. But I got to say, overall, I thoroughly enjoyed my experience watching The Hateful Eight. The 70 millimeter road show, man, it was very impressive. It felt like an event. It felt important. We got this nice program. We got a beautifully shot and gorgeous looking movie. And then we also got incredible performances as always in all of Quentin Tarantino's movies. Like I said, he knows how to bring out the best in actors and actresses and he did another phenomenal job this time. All the script seemed a little disjointed to me and it had a slow pace and it took a while to get going and there, were, there weren't the greatest payoffs in the movie. Like I said, overall, this experience, the 70 millimeter road show and just the filmatic experience watching The Hateful Eight was definitely something I found very, very enjoyable, and I thoroughly enjoyed the film, especially reflecting back on it now. So folks, with all of that said, I'm going to go ahead and give The Hateful Eight an 8.3 out of 10. Everything about it was pretty much phenomenal. There were a few things that I didn't like about the movie per se, but other than that, this is still a phenomenal effort from Quentin Tarantino, and he has a very impressive track record thus far. All right, folks, that's all I got from my movie review of The Hateful Eight. Let me know what you think about the movie. Comments below, like, share, subscribe to me. Check me out on social media, Twitter and Instagram, JRW the Creator, and then go check out my website, jordanrwilliams.com. Stay tuned for more movie reviews coming from me, and as always, folks, I'll see you next time.